Hey guys, welcome back. I made tea with honey, so now I'm all good because my voice uh, is starting to really feel all the reading. <laughs> someone mumbles right next to me. Wait, that's not someone else. That's my own voice. What? Huh? As I thought, it's here. The words pour, pour out from deep inside. I have absolutely no knowledge or control over them. Memories that aren't mine, words and feelings I couldn't possibly know are falling from my lips. Lips. Check the disposal vat. Must be behind that wall. Felt weird when standing in front of that wall. Which wall? Gabu? What's this all of a sudden? The instant Diamond speaks, the voice stops. It's nothing. I just remembered something important. Are you honestly all right? Those were some rather all, uh, odd mumbles. I'm fine, really. Just spaced out for a bit. For better or worse, Diamond didn't clearly hear what I was saying. Still though, that voice... Could it be that... My old self, the one I lost along with my memories, was talking to me? The feeling I got when I saw that golden hair... Maybe that's what triggered it. I haven't heard that other guiding voice for a while now. I guess all I can do is rely on my old self. That's so weird! Disposal vat beyond that wall. The voice said to find that. Hmm. Um, so that's the body. Looks like it's been a number of years since the person died. Dried skin gives the appearance of mummy. We did read this. Okay. That music's so good. I love it. We did check everything now then, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, let's go back. And save. We all good, OBS? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um... There. Um, I did not check everywhere here, I think. Stains seem to be old blood. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, emergency lights. Stain. Nothing else. Let's go. Let's go straight. Left and then now right. Thought I heard something very faintly crackling or slimy in the background. Oh, another crossing. Dried blood is blackened on the floor. Quite a lot. Whoever left it probably died. <laughs> yeah, probably. Excuse me? Peek into the waterway and see something floating. Reach for it as I hold onto the edge. Somehow I managed to grab it. It's a... yeah, talisman. Okay. Got that. Um, let's take a right in that case. Go back down. On the map. Let's see if we can find anything. This is gonna be fucking weird editing these episodes. Wait, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. Editing these episodes, because there's like. Normally, Deathmark takes so much work, you know? But now it's just like, I recorded it! I'll just put like an intro and outro there, and then it's good. We go north at the intersection, and. An outline of a door is flickering faintly in the wall ahead of us. What the fuck? Hey, look at that. Huh? What? Are you seeing odd things again? You can't see it? Unfortunately, no. Looks like Diamond can't see the door. Mumble mumble. That's the spiritual. Oh, spiritualization. My mouth begins mumbling words that I don't recognize all on its own. Opposed to spiritual with spiritual. If you touch it with a tool that honors the gods. The flow of words out of my mouth stops. Touch it with a tool that honors the gods? Hmm. Okay. I don't think I have anything on me just yet. Short sword. Kagura Suzubel. Oh, that might be... Good. Let's try that. 
Take out the bell. It's just touching it, okay? No, I have to. Strange words spill from my lips again. It's the priestess tool. If a man displays spiritual power, it'll be destroyed. So touch it silently. All I have is questions, but I have no choice but to trust the other me. Touch the bells to the door carefully, making sure not to make any noise. Ah, I made a door! The next instant, the door physically appears. What? Wait, I'm not hallucinating, am I? Completely shocked. What magic did you conjure to do this? It just felt like it was the right thing to do. But... I stare at the door. I sense an alarming presence. According to my own voice, if I, ca if I can call it that. The disposal vat is beyond this door. Found some documents about it in the room with the operating table. Might be good to look through those. Let's be careful. Place is giving me a bad feeling. Let's save that then. Okay. He wants to read the things. Erosatch originated from the shrine. Becomes key our dearest wish. That's it. Dispose 200 supreme doors. Oh, there's the door. Safety valve release code diamond. Okay, let's just check it out. I mean, we saved. Push open the iron door and we head inside. <gasps> the statues! Oh, this is amazing. Are those from the shrine? On the other side of the door is a large empty area reminiscent of a vault. Oh yeah, vault. So, diamond? Is this the disposal of that? Should be, but it's not quite what I expected. Something's on the ground. Looks like a sword. Rusty arm- rusted army sword. I take what diamond picked up. Shine the flashlight around the area. Are these heads of Buddha statues? Oh, it is them! They kind of just scattered around. Might be a garbage dump. Let's see if my tea is drinkable. Just then. Hmm? Oh, so nice. Sound echoes off something heavy moving. Suddenly the room is lit with a pale light. I have a rather bad feeling. Let's get out of here for now. Try to open the door to get out, but... What? It's locked! Shit. Impossible. What's that? Water? Cutting coldness invades and envelops my feet. My head snaps up and I see water pouring into the room like a giant waterfall. Holy shit! Water? Ice cold. Polar bear swim is not something I ever wanted to do. Quickly rises to her knees. I can't even feel my feet anymore. Water underground? We have to get out of here. We'll die of hyperthermia. What? What are we gonna do? I have to remember what was written in those documents about the disposal vet. All I see near me are the Buddha heads. What should I do? Oh! Diamonds! Let's do that! Oh, Aizen Ashura is here? Ooh! Hey, I actually paid attention for a change. Touch the diamond arat head. There's a heavy shudder and the sound of movement. Then the pooling water suddenly starts sweeping in one direction. Down into a drain! Whoa! Are we taking... It's pulling us in! <gasps> Where are we going? Oh no. Where is it taking us? When I open my eyes, all I see is darkness. So flashlights still work? Ugh. Quickly lift my head and rub my eyes. My vision slowly comes back. Hmm. This is an intersection in the underground shelter. Looks like we were drained out with the water and flushed down a pipe. We were lucky. Very nearly breathe a sigh of relief. But then I remember Daimon. That's right. Where is he? No need to be so worried. Oh shit! 
Ah, so it is you. It's been a while, you sneaky intruder. It's that old man I met in the passageway beneath Manhole Street. I tried to ask him about Daimon, but... Ah. My jaw's nearly locked and my voice is gone. Don't try to talk just yet. The water here comes straight from the Tea Mountain Range, so it's deadly cold. You were submerged in it for near an hour! You'll be slurring your words for a while. What? An hour?! Relax, your friend's fine. So you, uh, got somewhere to go back to? Ugh. I nod as I groan. Old man's face brightens like the sun. Well, that's great! Not that I'm demanding a reward for saving you or anything. <laughs> but I'm pretty darn hungry. Man eyes- the man eyes me, his smile's sharp. Is he gonna come back with us? Oh no! I spilled. Just a little bit. We got in the car and even though it's the wrong season for it, I turned the heat on full blast. We dry off with towels and the like, but it doesn't stop our shivering for a long time. While this is going on, the old man... Whew, it's hot! Can I open a window? He blatantly fanning himself. He's blatantly fanning himself in front of us. Okay, yes, in a way we owe him our lives, but even so, he's being a pain. Hang in there a little while longer. Daimon shudders. You can see you're shivering, can't you? How selfish can you get? It was an honest question and probably sucks for him, but we still keep the car out like a sauna. After driving like that for a while, our teeth finally stopped chattering. I mean, it still must be soaked. The man's name is Banshee Ito. Banshee? That's how he introduced himself. Obviously isn't his real name. Yeah, okay. As he sits next to me, Banshee gives off a savory smell like freshly baked bread. What the fuck? What kind of cologne is that? Kind of cheers, kind of cheers me up. Or at least it does for a few moments until I realize it's a stench of dried filth. What? How can it smell like bread? So Banshee, what were you doing in a place like that? You remain silent. Are you listening to me? Don't feel up to talking yet. I'll tell you in exchange for food. I shouldn't be surprised. Life's rough. Wait, that should be my question. What were you two doing down there? It's a long story. I summarize everything we know. About spirits and the mark until I catch up to when we, meet, when we met him in the underground shelter. Hmm, so that's how it is, huh? He nods vigorously to himself. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if you truly understand, old man. Diamond's doubts are reasonable, but Banshee waves a hand dismissively. Of course I do. What do you think I am? A terrible, terrible grudge is mucking up that underground shelter. You guys are wrapped up in it. Wrapped up in it now. This story suddenly sounds fishy. A grudge? Banshee, do you know what happened down there? I said I'm not talking about that yet. I was born in that into a noble family, so I've always had the ability to see things that are scant. <gasps> Miku! He's a Hinazaki. <laughs> Wait, maybe he... Oh... Maybe he's like one of the family members from Kujo. I stake my name, Banshee Ito, on it. Maybe that's why he changed his last name, because if he was like, Oh yeah, my name's Kujo Ito, we'd be like, what? There's a terrible grudge swirling there, and you've gotten swept up in it. He's got nothing to base his claims on, but I get the feeling he's on the right track. In that case, oh noble Lord Banshee, would you tell us? How do we overcome that whirlpool? Banshee replies with a magnanimous flourish. That should be obvious. Whirlpools always have a center. You gotta find the center. Center? That swirling grudge in the spirit thing, is that what you called it? The birth of the spirit, the heart of the curse. Something like that should be left within that there swirling grudge. If you look for that, I'm sure, then... He trails off. He gazes at the dark ro ro road, his mouth hanging open. It's like he's run out of batteries. Then what? 
What will happen? The black sky simply goes on forever before Banshee's eyes. The fuck? He just blacked out? Familiar house. Dun 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 da 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 dun. That reminds me, Gabu. Oh ho! Banshee calls out as soon as we enter the garage. Take this, just a little symbol of our friendship. The head the headphones are on my ear. Oh, I, I already said that. I think they're on my earrings. Got underground shelter key. Is this a key for the underground shelter? Mm-hmm. Found it when I was popping in and out of that place. I held on to it. I thought he said found it when I was pooping. I'll lend it to you for now, Gabu. He just picked it up. Why is he acting like it's a favor? But I have no reason to refuse him. Thanks, I'll borrow it. Hido walks up to us. Oh, welcome back. Learn anything? Learn anything? Diamond butts it before I can speak. Wait a second. You're not really considering. You haven't fallen for that suspicious old man's story, have you? Oh, that's rude. If you want my opinion, a snotty punk like you should be trusted even less. Of course, Gabu. You believe me, right? I do. <laughs> That's my good pal Gabu for you. Well, I suppose if you're fine with it, then I won't worry about it. Anyway, changing the subject. Good grief, can we just move on from talking about this? Banshee, you're hungry, right? The dining room should have something. Ooh, food, food! He's like me. Banshee bolts out of the garage and vanishes into the mansion. Hiro gives me an exasperated look. Look, Mr. Gabu, you've got the crazy one on your hands this time. <laughs> I like it. To appease the starving Banshee, I offer him some cup noodles and sweet buns. He just shows him his butt. Here are some sweet buns. Epitome of hunger, he greedily begins scarfing it down like a starving dog. Nom 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 nom. That was enough for ten people. He devours all of it, and I'm reminded of a high power vacuum cleaner. Well, we are in Japan, so it's more like four people. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! Haven't been this full in forever. Glad to hear. He must have a hefty poop after this, then. Mind answering some questions? Why were you down in that shelter? Well, that's an easy one. It's my home! You live in a haunted sewer? What? Been living there ever since I found it ten years ago. Jesus, dude! Not too shabby a place. Keeps me out of the rain and no damn brats messing with me. Though it gets a mite cold in winter. I don't know how to respond to that. Hiro and Daimo Diamond seem to be the same. It was a paradise for me because no one knows about it. Until a weirdo showed up six months ago. Oh, so the sensei? Some woman doused, doused in perfume. It was winter and I don't like stirring up trouble, so I just stayed away. That must have been Zukawa. I nod. That's my thought as well. That was a month ago. Figured she must have up and left, so I went back. Now there's something stranger. Which was? Damn walking Buddha statue. What the fuck? I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. I even got this weird scar. Oh, he's got the mark! Banshee removed his scarf, revealing the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but that statue gave you that scar. I figured it was the Kanon soldier after all. Kanon soldier? How do you know that name? Some documents I saw had it. It was an old plan to make a Buddha statue move with supernatural powers. Holy shit! Heavenly Buddha project weapon. What? That's awesome. Are you nuts? Spirit power is making something move? That's insane! Now, now, Hiro, calm down. So those documents that you found, are they still around? 
Nope, I burnt them for warmth. Oh my god, dude. Had a delicious roasted potato too. Fuck me. How could you? Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Daimon. Hmm. Our measure of common sense seems to be rather different than this strange old man's. Mm. It's fine, my noggin works different from most people's. I got it all memorized. Mm, I don't know. I just say, just tell us. We need to know about that project. Oh, it's mirrored. The Heavenly Buddha project was the pet project, project of some general at the end of the war. <clears throat> they built that shelter, shelter for it. Ta-da! 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the Kanon soldier thing, they did test on Buddha, Buddha statues. They were brought from some shrine or something somewhere. Ah, it must be H shrine. They did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statues with spiritual powers. There was a monk from Tea Mountain, spiritual treasures from all over. But nobody thought anything actually com come from it. Project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least it was supposed to be. One day, the statue started moving. Went berserk throughout the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. That's why the blood. Blood stains and old corpses in the shelter are probably the victims. And he just fucking lives there for 10 years without cleaning anything of it up. I would clean it. Some people survived, but... They had red bite-like marks on them. And then they died anyway. The thing went and wrecked the place. Then it stopped. Never moved again. No one knew what even triggered it. That's about everything it said. Hiro and Daimon are white as a sheet. I probably am too. It's a hard story to believe, but he has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. What? Are you kidding me? Statue going around, killing people and cursing them? Impossible. Oh, I want to see this statue. That's gonna be awesome. Then how do you explain the mark on his neck? Logic would dictate that the moving statue he saw was the Kanon soldier. Wait, where did Hiro get her mark then? Gah. The dormant soldier suddenly starts moving after 50 years. That might be the cause of mine and Hiro's marks. But if she didn't see it, then... What if you flipped that, though? Both of your grandpas got the mark from the Kanon soldier. When the soldier stopped moving, their marks disappeared. But with it started up again, you got them because you're their descendants. Ooh, I like that! If that's true, then the children inherited their parents' fate. Ooh... Hiro can't seem to muster up any kind of a counter-argument. I think she's in shock. I want to ask you something, old man. You say the Kanon soldier stopped moving 50 years ago, but why? Um, I think it was some spiritual person used the thingamajig to do something. So you have no idea. It's the most important part. Try to remember. Hmm, it's not that easy, son. The mark might have made me forget. Taking his age into account is more likely it's just complete. it just completely slipped his mind. I mean, he does have the mark, though. Seems we must defeat the Kanon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own, if he can't if he can't be of more help. You seem a pro at this, Gabu. We'll be relying on you. I don't have spiritual powers or anything. We've already faced down four different spirits, haven't you? A normal person wouldn't have survived. Hmm. True. Now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times, and a I, I've been having weird premonitions. I even caught myself unconsciously talking when we were down in the shelter. So what are you folks going to do now? Good question. Let's start with the soldier. Let's investigate the soldier in the shelter. We'll need to do something about that to get rid of your marks. 
If I'm descended from someone in the, on the project, then mine might disappear too. Ooh, maybe. Guess we're going back in then. Hiro's still kind of sulking, but she's at least recovered from her shock. We'll all share the same fate. It's too late to try to run away. Yep, you should find it there. The heart of everything that's causing the curse. You need that to stop the Kanon soldier. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you going to do then? I'm full now, so I was going to take a nap in that park nearby. I'll sit and wait until you fellows do something about that soldier. Wait just a minute, you old fart. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Well, you folks did feed me, so I guess I can help you. So he's a partner now? Ha! Huh. I think he's a Kujo member. Let's make a new save. Yeah. Um, Mary's not there. Guess we'll just go back then. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, finish my tea. Let's go. So, we checked the thing around the statues, we got an item there, and then we got swept away. So I think that's good enough for now. Let me check real quick on the right. But I think that was it. We checked both sides there, didn't we? Wait, we did not check... We found a door. Is that this one? Let me save. Oh, this is different. Set up the same way as the operating room. This place may have been used for the same experiments. There's another body there. I hope there are experiment notes. Let's get searching. The fuck? Who? Look inside. Open it and search inside. Find a notebook titled Research Records. Yeah, and a small gun! Just make out what they say. 17th, the next experiment, Ashura statue. Male body, female head, success. What? Supernatural phenomenon, spirit, frequent heart, continue experiments. Hmm. Palm pistol. Seems to be a record of the experiments performed here. How fascinating. Rusting filing cabinet. When I open the door, a cloud of dust flies up and blocks my vision. Notebook with a black cover is left inside. Experimental unit correspondence code. Seems to be a document about cryptograms. Oh, inside it says... Oh! Ooh, this is important. Ah, uh, I want to make notes. Let me see if I have anything here that I can use. This little card. This, I guess. Ah, oh, but I don't have a pen. Okay, I'll do it on my phone. I can do dots and dashes. Um... Give me a sec. There. Okay, canon. Is... Dot 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 dash dot dot dash dash. I'll do that. I'll space that because otherwise I can't see how many dashes. Okay. Dot 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 dash dot dot dash dash. Heavenly Buddha. Dot dash dot dash dash dot dash dash dot. Oh, it looks good, actually. I don't have to space it. Okay. Soul. 
Oh, that's the one we heard. Dash dot dash dot dot dash. Okay. Looks like a Wabun code, similar to Morse. Oh, it's not Morse code? Oh, that's probably why I couldn't find anything on it. Okay. Well, cool. I got it record uh, noted down now, so. Nothing inside the metal cabinet. Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. Dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. It's identical. Okay. I think that's it here. We got some code. I guess that would have been useful with the other Morse code section. It's not Morse, but you know what I mean. Okay, then we check those. We're gonna go back and then take a right. So we haven't been there yet. Another door. Seems to be locked. We have a key now, though. Thick iron door. Keyhole isn't rusted. Yeah. Opens the door with the underground shelter key! <laughs> oh, I'm at 30 minutes! What the fuck? Well, this new section, then, is gonna be up in the next episode. Still haven't even encountered the statue or whatever it is, so let me go back. Save here. And that'll be it for this episode. I thought it was going to be way shorter since we got the announcement of like, just a couple hours remaining! But I guess it's not that bad yet, so um, we're just going to leave it here and then record another episode very soon. I hope you guys like it and thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with more! <laughs> thank you! Bye!